Hi, my name is Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? In this video, I'm going to tell you the top three things that you need to know about being a twin flame and about the twin flame journey. So just to backtrack a little bit, you have your twin flame connection already on the inside of you. That is a given. That actually happened even before you were born. For some reason, a lot of people seem to think that there's a lot of foolishness in the universe, and maybe there have been at certain levels, but on a really high divine level, the divine beings that you are are not foolish. You're not leaving this to haphazard, random chances and faded things. You planned this. You planned for this. Okay? I'd like everyone to raise the bar on yourselves and take yourself out of being simply human and put yourself in the mode that you are a much higher being than what you may have been living up to now so far. Because there's much more to come. And these top three things that I'm going to go over with you are the key to it all. Number one is... There is a new template. This template enables you to have a relationship from within your union, and that means from within being unified with and to each other even deeper and higher than ever before. Mark me on this deeper and higher. Not just living together, although that is expected of you. It is expected that you'll be able to get along and stop those bad mirrors and turn things into good mirrors. And if you don't know how, time to come and see me. Your new template has new parts that have never, ever, ever, ever been with you or connected to you or a part of you from this physical level. And that is a critically important piece that is missing and which is why I teach, talk, help purge things, move things, shift things with people with the body because there's not enough of a body focus out there that people are feeling things, but certain readings will not address it. And it's because people don't know it. It's because it is my specialty. It is my job to teach it to people. I have been put through the paces quite a bit, and I have it written, and there is a reason why you have new parts. But to summarize, why would you have new parts? Essentially, so that nobody can hack you to, seduce you, trick you, deceive you, or any of that. You should be tuned into each other and nobody else on the planet. So yes, I teach people how to stop being an empath and how to stop the narcissistic stuff that you've had to tolerate up till now. Because it is a process, but there is a way. Where there is love, there is a way. You better believe it. Number two, the twin flame body wants no more crap. No more crap from the past. No more in your house. No more making your house a battlefield. No more bad toxic stuff, no more family stuff, no more illnesses, no more limitations. No more means no more. Fresh and new. So the fresh and new start that you are aware of and that you're hearing that, ooh, there's a, there, we're up level. There's a fresh brand new start. You're starting at the beginning just like everybody else with the exception of some people who have been pushed hard through this like myself in order for us to teach it and help, okay? So let me give you an example. What if you had a hospital and there was no emergency room so that when someone had emerged with some injury, malady, trauma, a breakdown, whatever it is, what if you had nobody equipped to help with that? Well, it's the same with spiritual emergence. There are people like myself that are equipped and are not judgmental where we focus on body and that is exactly what I do. 
I don't care where you're from. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you've done. I'm going to focus on the guidance of the body that helps you get you where you need to be. Okay? Because your twin flame body is the love that actually belongs to you eternally. That is you. You've been the love. You've already been the love. You've already lived out an existence. You've had numerous lives with your twin flame. You have had past lives with your twin flame. That's a question out there. Let me answer unequivocally. You've had a majority of lives with your twin flame versus the smaller amount of lives that you have had with a few soulmates to test your feet in the waters of karma and gain some experience. Living karmically is also a mirror because you learn about yourself, but you're learning about yourself in a lower vibration, dense environment. And your twin flame body wants no more of the crap from those environments, not from your past and not to bring it into your future. You cannot carry people with you. You cannot hold space for them. You can't tolerate their crap. Why? Because everything in you is going to vomit it out. And that is a real thing. And if you don't believe me, take a look at how some of this does play out for certain people. It gets very alarming. It gets to the point of being critically scary. So much that it sends people back into the rabbit hole to scurry for cover and find some comfort or find something. But you see, that's starting to get like being in the spin cycle. You're spinning and you're spinning and you're swirling and you're swirling in it. And that's not fun either because it starts to feel like your life stagnates. And that brings me to point three, which is that you already got activated. You're here watching this because you had an activation that you perceived as either an activation, a DNA activation, a download, an upgrade, a, a spiritual awakening, an awakening, a Kundalini rush. However, you arrived here and seeking some of this research, you're here. It happened. There's no going back on it. The door has closed behind us. And I say it's a good thing because that is a door that has had so many repeats of history that you don't need it anymore. What you need is each other. And what you have is each other. And what you hold is the love that belongs to you eternally. So if we're getting real about this, you already got activated. You saw it. The DNA activations, you actively sought them, or you listened to meditations that promised to activate you, or you uh, went somewhere, or it happened spontaneously, or it happened at night, or it happened with an out-of-body experience and suddenly you knew things. These are ways that people have, which is why not everyone's path home to love is exactly the same. You're unique in all of creation. You really are. And the ways that you do things and experience it is going to be unique. Your twin flame also has their side of experiences. And this is why it is important to stop looking at them on social media, to stop feeling promptings that tell you pick up the phone when what you're really feeling is reach out. That really means heart communication. That is also what I teach, because you need to be able to communicate over great distances. Even if you're living in the same household, you need to be able to do that. So you've got three major things here. A new template, no more, and you got activated. Those are the top three things that you need to understand that for 2020, we're barreling into 2020, and this is on. Now, have you gotten lost in this? I want to remind you of something. Love is your birthright. And to your higher self and the twin flame you are, the real twin flame that you actually are, it doesn't really matter what kind of family you grew up in. Your template has ways for you to get along 
or be around them or get invited to some family event and have it be at least peaceful, harmonious. Having us get along because many times we've been taught to hate or um, attack each other. That's a thing of the past. Your body won't tolerate that either. But furthermore, love dictates that you really won't even feel it. But maybe you have some memories. Of course you do. How do you help to move that and shift it so that you're operating from within your union and the new template? I want to clarify for you that being in union is something that you're already in. This is why I'm saying this to you. Not to chide you, but to remind you that you came here already with some parts clicked together. You're here to take care of the rest of it. And don't even think that it's only been this lifetime because it is not. You began this process and what you've been waiting for, what have you really been waiting for? You've been waiting for parts of the cosmic grid to be ready and you have to do your own grid work too. So love is your birthright. And so past lives, child traumas, childhood traumas, birth trauma, angel lives, these are coming to a closure. There is closure being provided. For some people, that is a blessing in disguise to not remember. For other people, some people want to remember. Some people like to play in the mud. Some people like to churn that sadness a little bit. The same way some people listen to sad country music over and over because they're feeling something. Some people find it hard to believe that it is actually possible to feel harmonious and to feel well and to feel happy every day. When it first starts to happen, you wait for that shoe to drop, but the shoe never drops. But if it drops, it's not going to drop you far. And when it drops, you're expected to catch your balance. You will only be able to do that by connecting and activating the other parts of your, the complement of subtle bodies which comprise the template. So that is why the work that I do enables things to be speeded up for people, for people to unblock, get unstuck, get out of the emotional states or the physical states of being. Because if you have something metaphysical, if it goes unaddressed, it starts to devolve into the physical plane. And this is many times what can cause illnesses and imbalances for people. It's no different than if someone has a toxic family member. You know, they keep bailing out their baby brother again and again and again until what they find is they have a backache. They just, their back just aches. Why? Because energetically, they're carrying that person on their back. And so your twin flame body wants no more of that person's crap. No more. So I have something here to show you. This is um, maybe going to be a little bit surprising to some people, but maybe not to other people. What happens after we've gotten through a few portals and there's closures? Okay, for some people, it's like getting whoa, pushed forward. That wave comes, it moves you, you've tumbled about in it. It's like a wave at the ocean, like a really strong surf. And you get there and you're going, <sighs> and you get disoriented and you're catching your breath and you're saying, what just happened? Where was I? What, what is this? I don't think I can do this. I, I'm not sure. <sighs> I'm not sure if this is what I signed on for. Yeah, I didn't sign on for that. That whole twin flame thing? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Twin flame? Yeah, I don't think I want any. I'm just going to tiptoe out of the room. And you want to turn your back on it. And I've had people say that. And I've had people not hear what they're really here for. There are people that cannot hear the truth yet. And yet they're experiencing it. There are people who catch diseases from other people. There are people that get built for big time money and they don't want to hear it because 
the thought that they're wrong and the thought that they're unloved and the thought that they are somehow have been tricked in love is too much to take. And then sometimes they think, what if I'm not up to this task? I mean, really, I kind of gave up my all, but I feel like I just got gut kicked. Oh, and it's a real thing. It's a real feeling. People feel it in marriages. Even besides this twin flame stuff, people feel it after a pregnancy. People feel it when they've opened the business and they go, oh my God, is this really real? I'm really here. I've got stuff. Oh, I've got to do this every month, every day. I, I'm not sure I have it in me. Well, actually, you do. But the tr key to it all is to get yourself in a mode of remembering that love is your birthright. Okay? You're here to be the love for yourself. If you do not love yourself, you cannot unlock the heart places for anything else. You cannot open the new, whatever you want to call them, star portals, cosmic portals, high heart channels, on your new template to get where you're really from unless you do. So it is vitally important to focus on yourself. Now, there's a thing that happens to people. They don't exactly deny things. But they struggle with something that I refer to as twin flame imposter syndrome. Okay? Where they say sometimes to themselves, maybe I'm just posing as a twin flame. Maybe the person was just posing as my twin flame. What was that? What was that? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know if I know myself. How did I end up here? Okay? And you become lost. And the more you seek on the internet, it's going to feel elusive to you because the answers are here. The answers are in your heart and they're above you. That is the key. You have to get your high heart channels open. You have to get that love reciprocating. Twin flame telepathy doesn't happen here. It happens here. Twin flame heart communication happens here. And it actually happens in a larger scale too which some people experience during the night. So imposter syndrome, this is when someone asks themselves, am I some kind of imposter? You know you're not a fraud. You know other people may not be a fraud. And yet sometimes you go to people that are not twin flame specific. You go to healers or readers who, say, who will tell you things, but then they say, yeah, I don't believe in that twin flame stuff because it hasn't been an experience that they have directly experienced. You have to come to me who is twin flame specific, who can feel both energies, who can tell you things and help you through guidance. Okay, because when I have people show up and they're going through things, I don't use that part of my mind that says, Oh my God, they're having a phobia. I use my guidance that says, move the energy here, or move the energy there. I've been doing energy work for a really long time. And I know twin flame energies and how to shift things. I know where I feel blockages and I know how to gently move it. Gently, because that is in line with the subtle nature of your subtle bodies. It requires subtlety so that it can be perceived and felt. It really is the less is more principle. What else can happen? Because the dualistic mind can't sometimes think of any other way to describe this. If it's not this, it must be that. If it wasn't my twin, then it was a false twin instead of it was a soulmate. There's either your true twin or a series of soulmates. It doesn't matter what level they're from, whether they're monadic or whether they are false twin or whether they are a um, near twin or impossible twin or any label that someone gives to it. Yes, you can love soulmates, but they will never ever unify with your body and they will continue to disentangle you from them and sometimes you're the one speeding away. 
So what else happens? You felt something, and then it went away, and you said, well, you lost at love, so then you become resigned. Well, sorry, but the universe is not tendering your resignation. You resign from all of the behavioral crap that you're not going to carry, but becoming resigned actually is an emotion. This is something that wells up from a part of your body because of all of your past lives. Past lives and maybe even childhood. Okay? What if you were told things where it becomes something planted into you, what we would call an implant, which is something as simple as you'll never amount to anything. How many men have heard this? Okay? And it doesn't matter if you have a daddy issue or a mommy issue. Your new template, which I teach you how to get rid of these things, because actually letting it go means detaching it and flinging it away from you. And you can only do that in a certain way. It's not a mental thing. You're not here for your IQ. You are here for your emotional learning. You are here for your emotional quotient, your EQ. So what does this feel like? Even these can be learning experiences, but maybe you've had enough. And what you should need to do is focus on your body because your body has the connections that you need. What is the other thing people are feeling? Well, people are feeling a lot of things such as heaviness, tiredness, grief, sadness, sorrow, um, wistfulness. Um, they're feeling like moving on, to which I say, that's not such a bad thing, but when you move on, start learning your body. Don't ignore it because it's just going to keep making itself known. It needs to be customized by you. So feeling lost and bewildered and overwhelmed. Why does this happen? Huh? Why does that happen? I'll tell you why. Where the overwhelm comes from. We just had closure. We just had a major closure. The lion's gate was able to bring your stuff that belongs to you to be given back to the rightful owners. And Now, how do you do this then? Because if you're overwhelmed or suddenly you're thinking of like this project, that project, and you're like, whoa, well, what's going on? Because all at the same time I'm feeling lost in this. I'm a little bit confused about what's going on, what's happening to me, because it's all at the same time. That is when I would suggest that you have a body session with me, either in person or over the internet. I am very good at it. You start talking, I start feeling it's that simple, and it is your guidance that comes through. Not even everybody's head. The head doesn't get a vote. So, in addition to helping you feel that love is your birthright, I always have ongoing classes. The links are below. I have a live evening on September 13th, which I'm on uh, as a sort of an intro, and it's intended to be sort of an old fashioned salon style. Um, question and answer and getting to know and that is on that day it's right before the full moon it's like right on the full moon weekend this full moon is for your desires the desires of your heart and you better believe that this better be right at the top of your list do not ditch what you're really here for I guarantee you, you are worth it, and you are worth, you already have the price of admission, but come up with an investment in yourself that gives you a very good payoff, because we cut to the chase. When I do a session, you get accelerated, and things start to move and shift. I also have a Twin Flame Body Union workshop on October 26th and 27th. That will be at North Shore Healing. It's on 
the uh, northwest corner of Chicago, and I'm very looking forward to it. This is a brand new place. So if I can help you and I would like to help you, please reach out for a session. I'm asking for sessions. I am actually have quite a bit of great material. Another thing that will be helpful for you, Grid Work and Your New Life. My book five, the link is below. This has so many good topics about the body template, the disentangling, how to get things up and running. What does grid work actually mean? What does it mean for your personal life? Because it has to include things about your personal life. If you're single, if you have a family, if you're blending a family, what does that mean for you? I explain it in the book. And it includes other aspects of healing and clearing in there. So every one of my books has something which leads you along and help you. When you're interested to learn twin flame body work, I have a practitioner course because we will need people next year. Climb on board now and get yourself up and running because it is a very well-rounded course working with the body and the new template. New template. Keyword on new. Brand new, never before in existence, giving every angelic the exact same starting point. And it's up to you to get it expanded and tweak it and find all the bells and whistles and have fun and play and, you know, take it for a test drive and, you know, make love with it. So thank you very much for watching. Those are the three top things, even though I covered quite a bit here. Please reach out, email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com if you have a question. Having a session with me is well worth it. Thank you. Bye.